Hello and welcome to the next video in using Quizcom Swarms. In this video, I'll be showing you how to dynamically show, hide and disable fields. I have set up a new list in the SharePoint based on a help desk scenario. I've added several different fields into the list that could be found within a ticketing system. I'm going to add a column permission to hide the action field when a new form is created. Return to the list setting via the Quizcom button in the toolbar. The column permission feature enables dynamically hiding or disabling columns in list forms and display views. In the list Quizcom's app settings page, click the dynamic column permission gear icon. This will open the column permission settings page. This settings page allows you to create column permission rules. Each rule hides, shows or disables the selected column. These rules will be processed according to their order every time a list form, new edit or view is loaded and each time a user makes selections in the form. First, select a field that you wish to hide, disable, or show in the Show Rules 4 dropdown. For this example, I'm going to select the Action field to be hidden. Create a new rule by clicking the Add New Rule button. A new rule definition section will appear. Select the permission type, Show, Hide, or Disable, and the list forms where this rule will be applied. In this example, I'm going to hide the Action field in new item form. Then select the save button. You can now see that the action field is hidden in the new form. Now we will try to disable a field, return to the dynamic column permission feature again. Select the field that you wish to disable in the show rules for dropdown. Then select the Disable Permissions type. In this example, I have continued to use the Action field. Click Save to save the changes and go back to the new item form. This time, when I try to add an action, I cannot as it has been disabled. It may be that you wish to set up conditions for your fields. To do this, return to the Dynamic Column Permissions feature. These conditions define when the column permission rule should be applied. You can create several conditions with AND or OR operation between them. In my example condition, I wish to disable the action field within a new item form. Once you have applied the permission, select the Add Condition button. I have selected that the action field will be disabled when the resolved field has a current value which is equal to checked. Remember to select the save button to save the condition. You can now see that when we return to the new form, if I select the resolve checkbox field, the action field becomes disabled. You can configure more than one rule for a column. To do this, select the Add Condition button again and add an another condition using the AND OR OR operation. In my example, I wish to hide the Action field when the Resolve field has a current value that is equal to the box being checked and when the cost has a current value that is greater or equal to $500. As you can now see, the field becomes disabled when both criteria are met. It should be noted that the column permissions feature enables dynamically hiding and disabling columns in new item forms, edit item forms, view item form, and in the list views. This also allows you to select more than one option. By selecting Edit Item Form, the permissions will be changed when you edit a form. You can now see that in this example, I have disabled the Action field in the Edit Item Form. By selecting View Item Form, the permissions will be changed in the View Item Form. I have chosen to hide the Action field. You can now see that the action field is hidden in the display form. Thanks again for watching this video and we hope to see you again soon.